Pokemon card. So first, what you need is a hollow, a reverse hollow. Sorry, um, Pokemon card. I pre, it would work best with like an item card. Um, so I have a super potion right here. Need, a, um, Q-tip or whatever you want to call them. That's what I call them. And you need like alcohol or um, uh, like hand sanitizer. So let's start by trying to get. Okay, one second. I need to get something to hold the camera. I. So here we're gonna try and rub this off. I'll show you what I did after, so I'll pause it for now. You guys, I just started, as you can see, and I found out I actually did wrong. You're supposed to pour the um, alcohol or hand sanitizer on the card, so I apologize for my mistake. So let me just finish and I'll show you it when, by the way guys, still working on it. You can see that it's just one layer like this. But, um, and by the way, I'm just going to tell you how it works because I actually do know how it works. So, still some a little alcohol. So basically what you do is, and basically here's how they make it. They print one layer, which is the, um, shiny layer. And then they make the layer with all the Pokeball designs and the words and the picture. So that's basically how they make it. It's two layers, so it's actually thicker than a Pokemon card. And EX Full Arts are even thicker due to them having an extra layer for the texture. So if you guys want to know, that's how they, how they make it. By the way, don't know if I already said this. You'll need more than one Q-tip or cotton swab or cotton bulb, bud, whatever you want to call it. Because here's my first one, here's my second one. So one more thing, you sh I you should actually scratch away the border, the yellow stuff, because here I'll get my EX full art. Um, here's the real EX full art. See how it is, as you can see, there is no border. However, if you want to make an EX, there is a border. So EXs are a bit harder. I actually don't know how, but I can make you EX full art. And by the way, I would recommend every once in a while dipping the um, thingy in the alcohol or whatever. Because sometimes it runs out on the card and you have to make... Dang it, I put the flash on. Okay. So, and you gotta push hard. Because if you don't, um, it basically won't work. And um, you need to... If you hear a noise, don't worry. That means it's working. It's a really annoying no noise. It makes me feel like I'm... Nauseous, but it's worth it for you guys. Gotta get more Q-tips. By the way, if you hear some people talking in the background, I was originally going to do this, but upon my first attempt to um, put on the um, alcohol on the card, it dripped down. So, got to throw these out. By the way, guys, don't know if you can see that, but there are little, like, pieces of the card that fall off. And my card is actually in bad condition already. Can I peel this off? Oh, my gosh. I can peel this off. This just saved me. Never mind. I repeat. Do not do that. Hey, Sylveon. She's like, what the heck? Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Dumbo Pokemon can't talk. Wait. Um, Alakazam. That means I'm a Pokemon. Yo, Sylveon, look. Your butt's showing. 
on YouTube. Okay, let's continue. Before I show you my finished product, but obviously it's not finished. First of all, I want to say don't peel it off because look, this is what will happen. If you guys can see that, it's a non shiny layer because I, I, I just scratched, I'm starting to scratch off this layer, so. Um. And also, um, if you want to make like a fire type, then I would recommend scratching off a fire type. If not, then you know. But if you do want to make a water type, then scratch off a water type reverse. I'm probably going to be making a normal type out of this. Um, my buddy, the face just made a swamp ready XFL art. Click here to see it. Um, this is my fourth Q-tip, or cut and swab, whatever you want to call them. Two side notes. One, if you fail, your card can get bad in, in bad condition easily, as I showed here. And, um, so I recommend putting it in a sleeve that's not, like, clear, so they don't notice. And, and then a top loader. Um, I got... Most of the picture off is like a little piece. I still need to get some of it off, but you can see it's really shiny. It actually looks like the newer regular hollows, which I'll show you now. Let me just get my binder out. I just realized my new binder says my name on it, so my first and last. Take a pyro, for example. You can see that. Take that. See, isn't that like really cool? By the way, here's what happens if you take it off the card. I'd recommend if this is about to fall off, then just um tape it to an or glue it to another card. I will do that right now. I messed up, but look what happened to NK. I find this a little weird. Upside down was a little harder to scratch off. And upside down evolution. And it actually is the same color, so I stand corrected. Sorry for the misinformation. But now I'll actually wait till I'm done to talk to you. Sorry, I know, but uh, upside down will come off, so abilities do come off. And eventually, you just gotta do it a little harder. Here, guys, here's what it will look like. Can I hold you? No, wait. Fine. I'm leaving this. Up to you. Who should I make this in the actual art of? Tell me in the comments no, below. No, I know what you should make. It, like, what, like, what? Oh, God, we're going to use markers. What are we going to use? Markers. Oh, yeah? We're not going to draw on this. We're going to draw on a piece of paper and glue it. Ah, oh, okay. So, yeah, what should we make it of? I'm expecting at least one comment from the face. I want to see this out of the face. Okay, the back's in horrible condition. So check out the Faces YouTube channel. He also made one of these. I think I, yeah, I told you. So a link would be oh, right yeah, there. Still. Yeah. Whoa! Looks so Show him the back. Horrible condition, but the front looks like whoa. And doesn't it feel different? Yeah, it does feel really different. Okay. It feels like tin foil. Peace out. Bow, 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 bow. And oh, Vangie, uh, almost. Vangie, make a new video. Yeah, unboxing. What? And, oh, uh, oh, oh, forgot, Jade. Don't watch it without me. Here's some fan art from my good friend. This, um, this no, is Olaf. No, your friend. That's your teacher. No? Yeah? No? Oh, your friend made that? Yeah. Oh. This is Olaf and says Frozen. And here's a Some People Are Worth Melting For one. So, yeah, we have some fan art. This is our first fan art. Of course, it is frozen theme, but that's okay.